building here is we're trying to create a live action game experience of the Sarah Palmer character from Halo 4. So Sarah Palmer is over here, this is what she looks like in game. What we started out with is creating armor based on her character and then embedding high tech features to put into that armor suit. So some of the features we're looking at embedding into the armor are heads up display, biometric tracking, uh, cooling systems, sound and audio systems, audio and visual systems, uh, prop guns with ammo counters, radar, all kinds of different awesome features are all going to be in this cosplay. So the suit is mostly made out of cardstock as of currently what we do is we take the 3D in-game models directly from the game. We'll scale it up. So we're making it uh, for someone right now. So the scaling's a bit off. It'll be specific depending on who we're making the Halo suit for. And we will put it into a program called Pepicure. Pepicure flattens out all of, the, all of these designs. And then we use um, Silhouette to cut out all the pieces. And they're, it's used for scrapbooking. And so as you can see in the insides of this uh, Pepicure piece I'm making, you can see all the folded pieces folded together and glued. I used a little toothpick and a little bit of Elmer's glue and for 30 seconds I hold each piece down. And after a long period of time you start to get nice shapes like this or even a completed piece like this left shoulder. And uh, something we would like to go forward with this project is to make it more techy. So the next part is after we make all the pieces, we'll harden and then we'll put carbon fiber on it. And from there, then we'll put in like LEDs, the hardware inside of the cooling system and things of that sort. So what I'm going to show here is the hardware that we're building in this. Um, we've got a lot of, as you saw, some Pepicure for the model, we've got a lot of software that runs in the system, but we've also got a lot of hardware specific components because we need to interact with the real world. So some of the things, the basics of the software control is we've got a BeagleBone Black, it's a single board computer, and it runs Linux, and it's got the basic input outputs to turn things on and off. But we then have to, because we're controlling high power stuff, we run into some relays. So here we have a set of relays, each which is nicely been labeled, such as things like uh, body, auto, and so forth. Um, that allows us to control things like the heating and cooling, or the cooling system, uh, the power systems, and so forth. So coming out of all this wiring, some of the interesting things that we're running, we've got a, uh, when the user's wearing the full suit, it's going to get quite hot. So we need some way to cool them as they're walking around the convention or the demo. So to do that, we're going to have cold water being pumped through the suit. It'll come from an ice reservoir, or ice water reservoir, and we need to keep it even cooler than that. So we connect it up to this thing, it's called a Peltier. It connects up here to uh, 12 volts, and it actually takes quite a lot of energy to do this. It runs out about 2 amps often, and the top gets quite cold, such that it can even freeze on it. The water will freeze and condense on that. And we have pumps that will go through the suit and push the water through the suit. We've got uh, flow sensors that will allow us to check if everything's working. We've got some fans that will integrate into the helmets to uh, the helmet rather to push cold air and cool the user, keep the visor clear. Um, other pieces of technology, we've got a heart rate sensor and a heart rate monitor here that gives that information back into the suit. And so the suit can make adaptive choices. Does it need to cool the user more than not? Uh, we've got lighting that you can see here on this display as a mock-up. And we've got a ways to uh, kind of adaptively control the light based on the ambient light. Uh, we can change the mode via software. We've also got a Google Glass piece of hardware that allows us to get a heads-up display. So for the software, we have uh, first and foremost an Android app. And so the Android app has a bunch of functionality to control the system that we have inside of the suit. So the suit, as you'll hear, has a bunch of information, uh, has a bunch of sensors. Uh, revolving around heating and cooling to make sure that the person in the suit doesn't die while in the suit, uh, as well as some other nice-to-haves like heart rate. Um, and on the Android app, we can control all of that, as well as controlling the light scheme that's on uh, that, that will be on the suit. Further, we have code that runs on the BeagleBall Black, and that code controls all of these sensors uh, and sends that data to the Android app to be displayed on the phone. Uh, we also have a little bit of code running on the gun, the Arduino on the gun, and that calculates the ammo count as well as broadcasts that through Bluetooth to the BeagleBone, which then sends that to the Android app to display the ammo count on the phone.